Hi, Karen here from the North End of Virginia Beach at Fit to Be Trained. And one of my besties from the Midwestie asked me to do a video on these fabric bands. And there's different sizes. I got two different sizes. The larger of the two you're gonna use for standing work like squats and lunges. The smaller of the two, which is much tighter and harder, you'll use for one of your standing exercises and then most of your mat work. Okay, so how I'm gonna work this, I'm gonna do each exercise for 12 reps. You can work your way up to that, obviously. So you can start with eight, then you'll go to 10, work your way to 12. If you already can do 12 and you're finished the workout, you can even do the whole workout again and do a second round. So you're working your hips, your thighs, your booty. It's a good one. So grab some water. You're gonna use a chair for balance, okay? So let's get started. So like I said, I'm gonna use the larger one for the standing exercises. Okay, so you're gonna bring yourself to a fairly wide stance, right? because the band is that wide. And I don't need the chair for the squats, but I will need it later. So you're gonna inhale to prepare. Exhale, squat down, push your knees on that band and come on up, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Make sure you squeeze, engage your glutes at the top. Squeeze your butt, three. I think I might be one off, four. Push those knees up, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Try to keep the soles of your feet flat on the floor, even though you're pushing out. 11 and 12. Hold it here, push out, and come back up. Okay, so for lunges, more of the same. You want to keep a, you know, it's a wide stance, your hip width apart here. Right above the knee joint is where the band is and you're gonna pull back. Drop straight down, okay? So that's the mistake a lot of people do. They come forward for a lunge. You're going straight down. Two, three, four. So you're pushing against that band. Five, you want to be able to see your big toe. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Good. Keep that wide stance, switch to the other side, pull the tummy in, back's nice and straight, inhale to prepare, down for one. I gotta move my band down a little bit. Two, so straight down, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure you can see that big toe or that means your knees dropping in and you don't want that. This is nine, 10, I'm not missing count on these, <laughs> 11 and 12. Nice job, okay? So I'm gonna get rid of this larger band and put the tighter one, but I'm still doing standing work. So you'll start with the tighter band. Standing up and then we'll finish out on the mat, okay? So I'm gonna use this for balance. Right above the knee, pull the tummy in and let's push out for one, two, three, four, five, flex the foot, makes more sense, six, see how I was leaning, try not to do that, seven, stay up, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, good, okay, so now you're going to turn, and this time you're going to push a little bit down on that chair, okay, Point the toe back, pull the tummy in, lift up, one, small motion, two, three. You don't need a lot of 
range here. Four, five, six, seven. Thank God, because my leg's hardly moving. Eight. <laughs> Push down on this chair, though. That'll help your lats. Ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. So now you're gonna to switch to the other leg, okay? So standing nice and tall, pull the tummy in. Let's kick that leg out to the side. Flex the foot, one, stand tall, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, good. Face the chair, push gently down on the top where you'll have to walk away a little bit. Point the toe back behind you and push up for one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So for this one on the mat, I am gonna use the smaller band. So I'm gonna place it above my knees. So with this smaller band, it has it where you're in alignment here. So it's almost perfect, all right? Roll your shoulders back, pull your tummy in and you're gonna roll back one vertebra at a time, just like you do in Pilates. <laughs> Relax your face, neck, and jaw. And here, push the soles of your feet into the mat, press up into the bridge, separate your knees. But try not to let your feet roll out to the sides. Okay, and there's all kinds of variations you can do with this. I'm just gonna start with your basic, all right? You're just gonna come up, one, separate your knees, make sure the soles of your feet are on the mat for two, three, four, and I can feel this in my hamstrings and my glutes, five, six. So it takes some thought. You gotta keep those feet flat on the mat, seven, but separate your knees. Eight, and they have to stay hip width apart. Nine, 10. I'm just gonna go for the 12 on everything, 11 and 12. Okay, so hold it up here, pulse it here for 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. And then come on down one vertebra at a time. You might as well. Okay, so now you're gonna roll over to one side. Okay, place your hand underneath your head. Um, straighten out your legs. Okay, so try to keep those hip flexors open. All right, and you're gonna pull up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. 11, whoops, and 12. And you can pulse it here for five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And you can see how my leg is hardly moving. Okay, so we'll go to the other side, and I'm just gonna turn. Okay, so here we go. Pull the tummy in, one, two, point the toe on knees, three, four, try to keep your hips stacked, shoulders are stacked, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, and pulse it. 12, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Okay, so now you're
you're coming up on all fours. So make sure that your hands are underneath your shoulders and knees underneath your hips. Okay, so here you go. One, two, I would try to straighten out the leg as much as you can. Three, four, five, slow and controlled. Six is the ticket with this stuff. Seven, eight, nine, if it comes too high up on your thigh, 10, you can loosen it here and let it drop down, 11 and 12, good. So you'll come back, you're automatically hip width apart with this band, all right? Push those shoulders back, ready, set, go. Press back, one, two, push those shoulders out of the ears, three, Four, so you want to stay tall and strong, even five, six, seven. And I'm going slow because I want the resistance on the way back too. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. Okay. So there you have it. <laughs> this is the resistant fabric brand. They're cool. I'm, they're fairly new to me. So as I learn more stuff, I'll do more videos to show my pal from Minnesota how to do this stuff. So hopefully she will use this video. But I hope that y'all have a great day and